Welcome back to the PC Engine Files. This is your host, Mr. Mega Man Fan, and this is what I consider to be the most difficult challenge I've had yet on any episode. It's called Quiz Maraguto The World 2 Time Machine The Onagai, with the exclamation point at the end, hence my emphasis. Now, this game is being featured on my actual Turbo Duo instead of through emulation because I just got this disc yesterday and I wanted to play it on real hardware, but that may not have been the greatest choice because this disc is a little beat up and it tends to have problems loading at times. Now to start out with, I selected what I thought would be a puzzle mode I was hopeful based on the look of that icon, thought maybe I could bluster my way through the game, but let me read you a little bit about what Moby Games has to say as you watch me try in vain to play this, and note that I edited out a lot of the times that it just freezed up or refused to load. Time Machine the Onagai differs from its predecessor by having its own unique gameplay modes rather than strictly following a TV game show format. The Time Machine mode involves traveling to different time periods and answering trivia questions in order to trigger famous events. Another mode is called Mega Ten Quest, however it is not a Megami Tensai related quiz, but an imitation of a first person dungeon crawler with random enemies who ask the player a certain number of questions on various themes. I didn't even try that mode, I tried this puzzle mode and got nowhere fast. I didn't even know what direction I was supposed to move these blocks in the puzzle in, and you could only move the puzzle blocks three at a time when you got a question correct. And it would just freeze up and not load a new question, so I finally gave up on that and decided, let's just go back and try the regular trivia mode. And boy was I surprised when I saw the host of this game show looking like some kind of mutated C-3PO with a human head grafted onto an android body. Although I assume this is supposed to be the time traveling theme that's supposed to be like the suit a time traveler would wear. Also, his lips don't sync up very well with the audio. I'm not sure if that's a quality of the disc or just a quality of the actual design of the game itself, but it's not matched up too well. It's not in sync. I'm just not impressed by it. I get there are limitations to a CD as opposed to a DVD or a Blu-ray, but it feels like they only went as far as they had to and no further in trying to work within the limitations of the CD-ROM format. And that limitation was, we're going to not use FMV, we're going to digitally animate a talking head and we're going to just barely sync it up with some audio that we recorded because the audio takes up less space by itself than a full motion video. They're trying very hard to make this presentation funky with all these visual effects that they do, including that screen wipe that we saw and the opening scrolling, rolling vertical screen that made the opening of it look like my Turbo Duo was going haywire. And look at these dinosaur animations as an example of what I'm talking about. Since when did dinosaurs bounce around like bunny rabbits? It's like, okay, we'll put a sprite of a dinosaur on the screen and we'll do something to make it look like it's moving. And we'll put the least amount of effort we have to into that. And that's it. Then you get this scrambled picture, which is either the game glitching out or my CD being scratched, I have no idea. But you have to answer at least four questions correctly to move on to the next round. And when it does, we get a really long loading time, and then we get another shot of the dinosaurs, only now clearly the extinction event has occurred, the planet's climate has changed, and all the dinosaurs are gonna freeze to death, and suddenly they just fall into a heap and snow falls on them. And that's as far as I could get in this particular game, Quiz Maragato the World 2 Time Machine no Onagai, because it just froze. It does nothing. 
I was starting to worry that maybe my Turbo Duo was at fault and not the game itself. So I pulled out Wise Book 1 and 2, loaded it up in the Turbo Duo, and it's working exactly as it should. Everything's loading up. Graphics look fine. Audio is fine. The videos are fine. It's clearly my disc, which... It even said in the description might have some light scratches, so I left positive feedback for Japan for you because I got exactly what I paid for, and I don't have any complaints about their service ever, but my disc is barely readable, and it's not even really playable, even if it was readable, so it was a buck. It didn't kill me, but obviously... Not anything that I can recommend to anybody outside of Japan or who doesn't have intimate knowledge of Japanese because even if my disc was perfect in condition and worked perfectly, I'd still only get so far on it. And I just don't think the premise itself is really that strong. Traveling through time to answer trivia questions doesn't seem like it would make for great compelling gameplay. I just can't recommend it. It's for a hardcore PC Engine collector, something you might want. Even then, I'm not sure, because the fact that I got it for a buck suggests to me it's just not in that much demand. I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan. Thank you, as always, for watching.